So this is the package that you need to make it work. Hey folks, so I don't know how long this beautiful weather is going to last, how many hours. So before it gets like really cold, I do wanted to complete the recording. So what you are seeing here is a Celestron Nexstar 4SE. So this is the solution that I wanted to create for everyone to be able to image planets or moon whenever they wanted to. Maybe they just wanted to see it or maybe they just wanted to take pictures with it. This telescope works like a telephoto lens, right? It got like f13 focal ratio, pretty good focal length. And if you look at it, there are two sides of this telescope, okay? So when you twist it on one side, it goes to the eyepiece right here, okay? When you turn towards the eyepiece, eyepiece gets closed and your camera will start working. This is called flip mirror. So that is the beauty of the Nexstar 4SE because people who are interested in like looking at planets, they're also interested in taking pictures and you know wanted to share the pictures with their friends and family. But in case of regular telescopes, you can do like the flip mirror stuff unless you buy a dedicated flip mirror and start taking images. So the flip mirror is built into the 4SE. On top here, this is just a red dot finder. All you do is make sure this red dot finder is looking at the same thing what the telescope is looking at. That's all it is, nothing much to it. So let's talk about the eyepiece side of it, okay? So when you look at the eyepiece here, this is actually an Orion extender eyepiece 1.25 inches in the eyepiece side of it and all you have to do is use this as a back focus for your eyepiece adapter okay celestron gives you a standard 24 mm eyepiece um, i would recommend you to get a 8 by 24 or 8 to 24 mm zoom lens so what this will act as a like zoom in and out kind of a lens uh, so you, all you have to do is uh, put this eyepiece into the eyepiece holder and you can zoom in and out of it. If you don't want to invest into the 8x24, uh, go ahead and use the standard 24mm to start with. You don't need to invest into this right away. Okay. So this is something that optionally you can think about it later time. But you can just use the 24mm to view the planets right away. Okay, let's still talk about the IP side of it. There is one more way you could actually uh, do this work, right? So if you see, this is the Orion extender. You can take the Orion extender. You can also get a Celestron T adapter, right? So if you see, this is the T adapter. There is a thread here and this goes into your eyepiece holder, right? Generally, you thread your camera right here okay so from the back focus standpoint so this is celestron 2x barlow so this is going to magnify it two times uh, the image that you are looking at all you have to do is stack these and now these two are almost the same as this size as if you can see it right here uh, when you put this inside it goes into and you can actually have your uh, eyepiece going as well so what that means is whenever you are looking at things now you are going to look at it much closer okay here what you are looking at is you are looking at a celestron t adapter you are looking at teleview power mate which is a 2x power mate and you are looking at a canon dslr it, it can be canon it can be nikon it doesn't matter right a standard dslr is okay you don't need an astro modified DSLR 
whenever you are taking pictures, particularly the planets and the moon, etc. Right? So what I like about the T adapter here is you don't need to like thread the camera when you, whenever you are trying to uh, put it back of your telescope. You can just hold this one and the ring is the only one that threads into the telescope but not you don't need to twist the whole thing that's a pretty good feature for the camera adapters particularly the t adapters okay now the t adapter can go into a power mate you don't need to invest into the power mate right away this is actually an expensive piece so if you are not interested in getting power mate right away no worries so this power mate is an optional item as well all this power mate will do is it will act similar to like this barlow which is like a two times uh, magnification so this will give you the two times magnification as well when you are taking pictures when you are seeing those craters on the moon you are actually looking through the 2x magnification okay now there is one more piece here if you look at it this is actually called t ring and this steering almost have the same kind of a lens kind of a thread all you have to do is almost load it like a lens and lock it right this will have the t threads either you can use the t threads to put your power mate or you can use the t thread to take your t adapter and you can thread your t adapter directly into as well you don't need to have the power mate loaded here okay so from a good practice standpoint i would love to have a barlow here this is a good investment for as a beginner i think 2x barlow is good enough if you are interested in more advanced astrophotography for your planets you can think about getting a power mate okay now of course this will go in the back of it I did put a uh, small adapter there for it to uh, set this right and all you have to do is load this back right here right a bit more advanced than what I have here you can also think about getting a dedicated planetary camera and you can thread the dedicated planetary camera here as well okay so this will give you if you put a 2x barlow here pretty much it gives you what dslr is going to provide if you don't want to invest into a dedicated planetary camera you can just use a dslr otherwise you can also invest into a planetary camera and that will also take the same pictures as the dslr as well this package is now ready to go onto the mount okay as simple as that for a very small price you get a pretty good decent um, almost like a permanent solution for imaging moon craters on the moon saturn jupiter venus pretty much any planet that you can think of using this telescope okay so it is going to go roughly towards the moon moon is right there All right, there is a software called Backyard EOS. Uh, similarly, there is another software called Backyard Nikon. These are like $15 or something. And you can connect your DSLR to this one. Go into like frame and focus to see the live view of the planets or live view of the moon. And you can actually focus it when you are looking at it on your telescope. Make sure the focus is good you can also zoom in if you wanted to like you know get closer uh, to see the focus similarly you can zoom into the star and focus it depends on uh, what you are imaging in this particular case we are imaging moon or if we are imaging the planets uh, zoom into the planets make sure you can see the planet or the moon very well and the focus is good you know and once you complete the focusing there is an option there called planetary and if you click on the planetary option it lets you 
you know, adjust the white balance. And there is a camera icon, which you can click on to record. It actually records AVI file, which is like a video file. And you can process this video to make a beautiful image by stacking it. I'll put a separate video, how to process the video into a single file. Uh, you can use auto stacker or you can use um, uh, different stacking softwares. So right now I'm taking pictures of like moon, like video. And similarly, you can also take pictures of planets. You can go, uh, let me go to Venus, planet Venus and uh, show you that picture as well. So here is uh, planet Venus. Uh, let me bring the planet to the middle. You can also use the focus, the 5x zoom in to the planet. For planets, you can't really eyeball it. So you have to use a product called Bathinov mask. And it's like a plastic piece of plastic that you put it in front of your telescope. And it gives you those diffraction spikes. If those spikes are evenly angled, then you know your focus is good. And then you can go and reduce the shutter to whatever is the appropriate, uh, you know, the speed, which is going to bring the colors out of the planets because usually the planets are bright and unless you lower the shutter count, you don't get the colors that you wanted to see. So in this case, Venus is typically like a green and red kind of color. And that's what you would like to see. And once you see that, you can click on the camera, capture video for your planet as well.